All right, so welcome back everyone. So in this video, we'll be working through the solution um, of this exercise where we're asked to construct a DFA that accepts the following language L. So L is the set of all strings over the alphabet zero one, such that the string has an even number of ones. Okay, so let's first, the first thing that I like to do when I construct DFAs um, or any kind of machine is to see which languages do I actually want to accept and which, or sorry, which strings do I actually want to accept and which do I want to reject? So let's start with the shortest string, right? So lambda or the empty string is the, the shortest possible string. Now, um, what is the number of ones in lambda? So I'm going to denote this as n sub one. So n sub one of something, you can just read this as the number of ones in the string, right? So the string is just your input to this function here. Okay, so n, the number of ones of lambda, well, this is zero, zero is even, so this would be good, right? How about the, uh, the string containing just zero? Well, uh, this also has no ones, right? It has zero number of ones, and so um, this would also be accepted, right? And in fact, if I had zero, 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 and so on, if I just had zeros, I wouldn't be um, adding any number of ones. So I wouldn't be changing the, the parity um, of my um, string, right? Um, parity of my string, I, I mean actually the uh, evenness of the number of ones, right? So if I have an even number of ones and I add any number of zeros, right? then that's not going to change the fact that I have an even number of ones, right? So how about one? Right, so these, are, these guys are all good. How about one? Well, one, the number of ones in one is one. <laughs> so that's a lot of ones, sorry. But um, one is an odd number, right? And so this would not be accepted. This would be a reject, right? Um, how about one followed by any number of zeros? Well, these zeros here, they don't change the fact that now I have an odd number of ones, right? So that's going to lead to a reject as well, right? So I should not be accepting a string like this. But if I have, uh, let's say one, zero, 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 and then a one, right? Then now I have an even number of ones, right? Because I have two ones, two is even. So then this would be an accept, right? And then again, if I, if I tack on zeros here or here, then that wouldn't change the fact that I would be accepting the string or the fact that this string belongs to L, right? So this, is, this seems to be the uh, sort of nature of my language. So how do I construct a machine um, to accept this language? Well, in this case, what you can do is um, you can create states and you can assign roles to your state. So when you're creating a DFA, um, one trick I would say is, uh, I, did, I did say in a previous video that one trick would be try to emulate what you would do as a DFA. Like as a machine, if you were to just read symbols one by one, right, with a finite amount of memory, how would you go about accepting or rejecting one? The other thing is that, um, as a DFA, you're going to assign certain roles to different states, right? So for instance, here, what I could do is I could say I have this state, let's say state Q1, and this state is going to take care of the uh, even number of ones, right? So strings that have an even number of ones. Then I'm going to have another state, Q2, which is going to have, it's going to take care of odd number of ones. Because the only thing really that I need to remember is whether I've seen an even number of ones or an odd number of ones, right? So my actual memory is a single bit, right? So what you need to realize is your memory here, which must be finite because it's a DFA, is of one bit. So it's of one bit because either the bit is on, um, let's say that means that it's even, or it's off, that means that it's odd, right? Okay. So um, now how do I, how do I like 
add transitions, right? Because now this is just uh, this is just a set of states. I need to make a state, uh, an initial state, and I need to add transitions. And of course, because I want to accept something, I need to assign states to accept states, right? So what I can do here is I can just imagine, say, that I have a string w that's going to enter this machine, right? So string w is going to enter this machine. So where should my machine start doing its computations? Well, imagine I have this string w on my input tape. My pointer, right, the pointer that, that's reading the string um, actually starts, really what it's doing is it's starting right before the first symbol of my string. And so at that point, right, so at this point here, it has, uh, it hasn't read, um, so it has read, has read no symbols, right? So if my machine hasn't read any symbols, then it couldn't have seen um, any zeros or any ones, right? Meaning that it's seen zero zeros and zero ones, which again means that I have, uh, if, I've, if I haven't read any, any ones, so I've, I've seen zero zeros, right? Then zero, the number of, of ones so far is zero, which is even, right? And so this suggests that I should start at Q1 because Q1 is the state that encodes this idea of even number of ones. And so that's where I'm going to place my start, right? That's, so Q1 is going to be my start state. And now how do I connect Q1 to Q2? Well, um, if I'm in Q1, so I have an even number of ones, and then I see uh, a one, right? So imagine, uh, imagine again, I've read, let's say I've read uh, some, 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 some number of uh, symbols and I, I have an even number of ones so far. So I have an even number of ones so far and now I read another one. Well, my bit switches from having an even number of ones to an odd number of ones. So my bit switches and I go from Q1 to Q2. Okay, so suppose that I've read this one, right? And so I go to the next, I go to the next symbol on my input tape, and now I'm reading another one. Well, that just means I switch my bit back on, right? I switch my bit back on, and now I have an even number of ones again. Okay, and what about zeros, right? So what about zeros? Well, we said here, we said here that the zeros really, if, if you're in a certain state, then any zero that you see isn't going to change the fact that um, you're in that state, right? So what do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? I mean, if I'm in a reject state, or sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be saying reject yet. So if I'm in the state that encodes an odd number of ones and I see zeros, that's not going to change the fact that I have an odd number of ones, right? Similarly, if I have an even number of ones, so here I have two ones, then this won't change the fact, then seeing zeros won't change this fact, right? Seeing zeros won't change the fact that I have an even number of ones, okay? So what does that mean really in terms of my machine? That means that if I have an odd number of ones, right? and I see a bunch of zeros, then I should just stay at the same place, right? And similarly, if I see, um, if I have an even number of ones, and I see a bunch of zeros, I should just stay at the same state, right? So that's why there would be a self loop here, and a self loop here with zeros. Finally, what's going to be the accept state? Well, the accept state is going to be the state that's encoding an even number of ones, right? Because that's what I care about. Remember, I care about uh, creating a machine that accepts this language L. And this language contains strings that have an even number of ones. Well, this state encodes those, um, those exact strings, right? And so that's the state that I wanna make my final state. And this 
So this final machine here, this final machine here, M, whoops, this final machine M, whoops, what happened? Oh, okay. This final machine M here would be a machine that accepts the language L here, where L is this language. Excellent. And so this is how you would uh, work out a solution for this exercise.